In this video, we're going to learn about different representation of graph such as incident matrix, adjacency matrix and adjacency list. And uh, we will also going to learn about what is the ADD abstract data type for a graph. Now, let's see representation of graph one by one. First representation is your incident matrix. As the name suggests, now whatever graph you are having that will be represented in the matrix format. So uh, matrix will obviously have the n number of rows and m number of columns. So here what will be the rows and what will be the columns. So for example if I am having this kind of graph. So whatever vertices I am having in this graph that vertices are A, B, C, D. So that will be my rows that will be treated as my rows and whatever edges I am having in this graph. So that will be treated as column. So here edges are E1, E2, E3, E4. Now they will be written in the column section. So this is my n by m. So uh, this will be my matrix and uh, how we will write the entry inside the matrix. Suppose if you are having any uh, suppose uh, for example to write the entry for the directed graph we will take the example. This is my graph directed graph and here uh, we want to see whether there exists age from A to E1. So this is kind of reading. So A on vertex A is there any age which is uh, going away from the vertex A. So as this age is not going away, this is incident on the vertex A. Okay, this is incoming age to vertex A. So if there is incoming age to this vertex, so we will write minus one. As this is incoming age, we will write minus one. The age E2 is going away from A. So here we will write for uh, row A and E2 column, we will write one. The same for your uh, row A and E3 column. This E3 age is going away from vertex A. So here the entry will be 1 and uh, the age E4 is not either incoming or outgoing age to this particular vertex A. So that's why we will write 0 over here. So those uh, the uh, ages which are going uh, out from the vertex that will be written for that entry will be written as 1. The age which are coming to that particular vertex the entry will be written as minus 1 and if the age is not present uh, then the entry will be written as 0. And uh, in undirected graph, we are not concerned about whether that is incoming age or outgoing age. So if you are just having for this particular vertex A, if uh, there exists age which is either uh, which is uh, touching to that particular vertex, so entry will be written always as 1. There will be no minus 1 entry in this undirected graph for the incident matrix. So uh, this is example for the incidence matrix. Next representation is uh, your... Uh, adjacency matrix now here in adjacency matrix you will uh, represent your graph in the matrix representation where uh, n and m so n is your number of rows and m is uh, n is your uh, number of rows that will be how many total of vertices you are having so here for example we are having one two three four four vertices so they will be treated as rows and the same with the columns so here we are having vertex uh, by vertex this this kind of matrix vertices by vertices this kind of matrix we will draw and the entries inside this graph in adjacency matrix will be based on uh, what are the ages you are having so if you are having some kind of age in your graph for example if i'm having uh, if i'm having the directed graph so i'm not concerned about what is the name of the ages so here i will just uh, draw four by four matrix where uh, four will be the rows uh, of vertices a b c d and the column will be a b c d so these are the name of the vertices and for the directed graph if there exists age from d to a okay there is a uh, age which is going from d and touching to a so here we will write entry for D to A will be 1. But here the age is not going from A to D. So that's why this age will not be there. So the, here we will write the 0. But uh, if you are just uh, making corrections, if you are just having undirected graph, so this uh, this uh, arrow will not be there so we can write the entry for uh, d to a and a to d as one so this will be there for your undirected graph this is adjacency matrix and uh, what if you are uh, want to uh, draw the adjacency matrix for multi graph now the multi graph is a kind of graph where we have the parallel edges between the uh, two vertices 
now here instead of writing one we write how many parallel ages we are having in between this vertices the count of that ages will be written over here so here inside uh, vertices d and a i am having two parallel ages so here i will write two for uh, d to a and a to d entries now next representation is your adjacency list representation now in adjacency list representation of your graph we first of all find out how many vertices we are having so that many list we are going to create and there exists uh, each and every, for uh, each and every vertex there exists a separate list and here suppose we want to uh, write the list for your vertex a so we will just start with the vertex a and uh, for the vertex a whatever uh, whatever uh, vertices are which are uh, adjacent to that vertex for vertex a the uh, adjacent vertices are b c d and how we have found out this because there exists a kind of age in between this vertex a to b a to c and a to d so this three vertices are adjacent to my vertex a so now we just have to link all of these vertices whatever vertices we are having we just have to link all of them in a link so uh, we are having adjacent to vertex a there exist a vertex b now just continue with the link now here what is a next adjacent vertex to a that is my c so we are connecting with this link and what is the next adjacent vertex to my vertex a that is d so here we are not reading this link as that uh, d is adjacent to c this is not uh, read it so instead of that we are reading that whatever vertices says we are having adjacent to a that are connected by using the link and at the end there is no more vertex which is adjacent to a so we will close the link over here so here we will end this link so in such a way for each and every vertices we will uh, create uh, this adjacency list for vertex t there is only one vertex which is adjacent that is a so that's why for vertex t we will make a link of only one vertex a and uh, no more vertices are there so we'll end this link over here so in the same way we have to proceed for the remaining one next is your abstract data type representation for the graph as the name suggests your add is kind of abstract data type here you will just represent in the abstract form what is the basic operation you will going to perform for the graph so the object is a non empty set of vertices and set of undirected edges where each edge is a pair of vertices for example we want to create a graph for uh, suppose uh, for this uh, we have given with the set of vertices 1 2 3 and set of edges is given as like 1 2 and 1 3 now edge is represented by the name of the two vertex inside which there exist edge okay so this is what we are drawing for undirected graph now uh, for creation of this graph like we want to perform some of the operation on the graph so in what way we will proceed first of all we will uh, try to create the graph okay your graph will be empty now next thing is that we will try to insert one one vertex okay so we will insert the vertex next thing is that after insertion of all of these vertex we will insert the edge in between there because there exist vertices so now there is a need to insert the edges now edge will be inserted now next thing is that what if you want to delete some edge or vertex you can delete the vertex and you can delete the edges and uh, to represent this graph you will use the list adjacency you can use list adjacency representation so these are the basic uh, kind of operation you can perform on the graph so how this can be written in the abstract uh, kind of notation so for creation of graph first of all whenever you you will uh, create the graph your graph will be empty for the first time i want to create this graph so my graph will be of course it will be empty i will not give any kind of information to that particular graph i am just simply trying to create the graph and uh, whenever i will uh, uh, be checking whether that graph is uh, empty graph so whether uh, that graph is created no or not so it will always return the graph so next thing is that you want to insert the vertex so as you want to insert the vertex you will need the graph in which graph you want to insert the vertex so here input for the insert vertex will be graph and the name of vertex which you want to insert and uh, of course when you will uh, done with the insertion of vertex the resulting is what you will get that will be the graph so this is the return type of the this function is graph
The next thing is that you want to insert the ages. So if you want to insert the ages, the, you will of course provide the graph as an input and along with that, what is the name of age you want to insert? So here input will be graph and the name of two vertices between them there exist a there exist an age so that two vertices name and when you will create when you will insert that age so at the end you will get the result as graph so in this way we can delete the vertex so for deletion of the vertex you will write the you will provide the graph along with the vertex name which you want to delete and the result will be graph for deletion of age you will provide input as a graph along with the name of age uh, name of the vertices in which there exists an age and uh, the result will be graph you can also check uh, in meanwhile suppose you you want to check whether your graph is empty or not so that you can perform other operation so you can for this you will just provide the graph and you will just check whether your graph is empty so if the graph is empty you will have no vertices and no edges so uh, you just want the result in the form of true or false so here you will uh, use the return type as boolean and to represent each of the vertices in the adjacency list format you will provide the graph and the name of vertex for which you want to create the list and of course the result will not be any kind of graph or anything so instead of that your result will be a kind of list for that particular vertex Thank you.